Okay. The stream seems to have started. So that's good. And that's postal dude writing to me. And he will probably keep doing that for a while, so don't be alarmed. Oh god. <sighs> Whatever. Boss, it says boss 100%, I just noticed. So this is a boss level. Oh boy, what, what do I have? Do I have this uh, gun? I do have gun and I have the ammo for it. I do have BFG, so... Okay, okay, quick save. Yes. That's a recolor of Cyber Demon. Sure. I'm somewhat disappointed. Let's see what it does. What do you do? Oh, well, he shoots rockets. Like a cyber demon. One, two, three, four, five. He shoots five rockets. But somehow I, f I have a feeling that this is not it. He has to do something else, I mean. Why bother recoloring a cyber demon if you are just gonna add a couple of rockets? to his attack. That doesn't make sense. Well... That did 7... Am I reading this correct? Yeah, 7% damage. So it's gonna be a while, probably, before we deal with this guy. Let's see if this gun does more. It doesn't do more. <laughs> what about rocket launcher? I don't think that did any damage at all. What is his? He has plasma gun now. Why did I die? What just happened? I was trying to pay attention to both hells, but I guess I should have been paying attention to my surrounding instead. Oh shit! Well, we just try again. Just keep using BFG, I guess. That just did 15% damage. Are there any cells anywhere? I wonder if there's like some trick that I could use to defeat him, maybe could use environment in some way. Oh, there we go. Some more BFG ammunition. Gonna be useful. Oh, what the fuck? Cyber prototype. It's a cyber prototype, so this is, like, th this trope is used that prototypes are cooler than the production models. But, okay, I've seen enough anime to, like, not have a problem with that. Are his rockets, like, homing or something? doesn't seem this way. So I'm not sure, I just exploded previously somehow. I don't know how that happened. Uh, where is that DFG again? That's rockets, I don't need rockets. Ah, oh, there we go. Doom, doom, doom. Hello there. I'll just try to play it safe. Oh yeah, these are homing, these are homing. 
Is there fucking homing? Shit. Oh shit. I don't think that did any damage. So basically this is just a cyber demon that shoots random crap and has a fuck ton of health. And that's that. This is not very interesting. That didn't do any damage. What the fuck was that? Oh, he's gonna spawn monsters now, or, or what? What is that? Can I destroy that? Hmm, that's weird. I kinda wanna... have more cells. Are there more cells? There should be like plasma gun somewhere. Definitely destroy plasma gun. Hey, can I blow this shit up? Yes, I can. And perhaps I should do that. Oh, fucking homing missiles. Oh, there we go, that's what I wanted. Ah, oh, shit. He just keeps spawning more of them. Um, this is gonna get annoying. I should shoot them down as soon as I can. So I don't have to bother with them while dodging homing missiles. Okay, this is slightly more interesting than I thought initially. Cells, 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 give me cells. That's not cells. That's not cells. There we go. Where's that guy? There he is. Save this for how lucky. Oh shit. God damn it. Maybe I should save when he does that because I just have to fucking go f f from the very beginning each time I die, and this is slightly annoying because his first phase is nothing.
Okay, go to get BFG ASAP. There we go. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Good lucky there. That was a dangerous situation. Oh, I wanted to save. Right, let's save. Okay, where's that fucker? There he is. Yeah, it was a good idea. It was definitely a good idea to save. What the fuck is this? Oh, there we go. Is my mic even on? Yeah, it is on. Not sure why I thought it wasn't. Whatever. Just try to kill the fucker. Yeah, that was not the proper way to dodge it. Maybe I should try that... Fuck, I keep forgetting what that shit is called. The demon web. Oh shit. The Unmaker, right. It's called the Unmaker. Oh fuck. I kind of need more health. There we go. Oh, that wasn't too difficult. Oh, hey, I beat it under par. Cool. The bloody remains of the cyber prototype are all that is left of the Triton invasion. But you do not have time to step back and admire your handiwork as the entire structure begins to collapse. You look around and see the familiar sight of the main portal appear behind you. You turn and run through it, just before a boulder lands on top of you. You find yourself back on Triton. Taking one last look at the portal, you load your rocket launcher and blast it into the ether. Looking at your PDA, it says, Evac Team ETA 72 hours. You just hope they turn up. What is this? Is this a fucking cutscene? Oh my god. Is that the evac team? They don't look so good. Is that guy on the right giving us the middle finger? The end? Wait, that's the end? What? How is this the end? This was map 10. But shouldn't this have like 12 maps or something? Wait a second. How does this work again? Okay, let me let me check the readme file. Yeah, it says map 0 1 through map 12. But this is map 10. Let's see. Yeah, map 10. I guess these are like secret maps. Well, map map 11. Um, this doesn't really look Doom 64-ish at all. Wait, it does look Doom 64-ish. This is exactly like Doom fucking 64. It's that troll fucking map. It's that troll fucking map. I'm gonna die here, right? Yeah. 
It is that troll fucking map. Oh my god. I'm gonna die here too, right? Yeah. This map still gives me fucking nightmares. Hello, Earl War. Yes, of course everything just fucking kills you. I'm not sure I can do that with a pistol start. Damn. Damn. You know what? If this gets too bad, I'll just fucking IDK FA. Oh, right. I see what you did there. Got to follow the pentagrams. I don't remember that in Doom 64. Are these like new traps? Oh, it even lights up. That's convenient, I guess. Ah, <laughs> right. Should I... Should I kill the fucker? Well, I'm not sure if this will be a long stream Errol War. Yeah, let's fucking kill him. Because I'm just kinda kinda bored, have nothing better to do. And I said, well, whatever. I need to be done with uh, Threshold of Pain anyway, so... Might as well stream it. Oh, that didn't go super well, but I'm not dead, so... That's something. Should I go for the Megasphere? Or the game is gonna troll me? I think the game... Yeah, I just misstepped. I just kinda misstepped there. I think the game is gonna troll me. If I try to get it, but let's see. Or not? Cool? I guess. Oh, fuck. I should be more careful. Trackmania? Well, I don't know much about the series, but I played uh, Trackmania Nations Forever. You know, the free uh, the free version of, of the game, and it was cool. I kinda think there is just too many Trackmania games. They just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and selling it, and I don't approve of that. Okay, let's check out that teleport. You know what's gonna be funny if that teleport just takes me to where the soul sphere was, I mean the megasphere. <laughs> God damn it! I just trolled myself, I guess. Oh well. This is the spider place. This is the fucking spider place. Oh god! I didn't anticipate... ...the extra troll here. Which teleport do I take? Let's take the left one. That worked. Well, a racing is kinda like speedrunning, just racing in general. We're just trying to go fastest without making any mistakes. And if you wanna have the perfect result, you gotta have the perfect run. But yeah, I very much approve of Trackmania. This is like pure competition. Even though it's like an arcade game. And uh, I'm like more interested in simulator games, but uh, Trackmania is just a perfect example of a very competitive game and I like it very much. Uh, Android says he won't be joining us today on this stream, so... Oh, this, this, this room, this fucking room. Uh, let's do this. Ah! Oh, of course, of course this crushes you. Well, thanks for the Megasphere, I'm still alive. I shouldn't have shot myself. 
You know this is much easier than... Okay, I take that back. <laughs> but this is much easier than... Doom 64X version of this map. Or maybe not, maybe I just got really lucky on my first... Try. <sighs> Motherfucker. Well, good luck to you, Earl War. I, you know, never had like any proper job application ever because all my jobs were like, Hey dude, you wanna work with us? And I'm like, yeah? So I didn't have to go to any, uh, you know, like, mm, job interviews. So I, I don't even know how would I approach looking for a job. Okay, we have all keys, but I have a feeling that's not the end. It is the end. I'm disappointed. Well, I guess it's good for you, er Errol War, that you are the one refusing jobs <laughs> and not the one being refused by, you know, HRs. You find yourself enshrouded in complete darkness. As you look around, you suddenly realize where you are. The super secret level where all of the bad ideas go to die. That sounds awesome already. Let's let's see what this is all about. Oh boy, do I have weapons? I do have weapons. Oh, these fuckers. Oh, what? I'm just happy <laughs> I'm not playing this with the pistol start. Uh, this is red door, this is red door. Why does this look like a you know, toilet? <laughs> like I was totally expecting to see, you know, Duke 3D shooting alien like somewhere in here. This is like hell toilet with marble walls and, and no like actual toilet urinals because demons don't need that. What the fuck? We are like crashing the disco party here. Oh wow, that's what you get for crashing the party. And these guys are like bouncers. And since this is like a disco club, probably that thing is in the, indeed meant as a bathroom. But then just like one bathroom, so it's like unisex or something. Oh no, there are two bathrooms actually, I just didn't realize. Okay. I should approach this more carefully. What's in the other bathroom? Let's see. Yeah, this would have helped <laughs> in my previous attempt. I don't have the cooler chain gun. Oh well. Guess th this will have to do.
them. They have those guys with unmakers there. They are kind of a concern. Yeah, that worked much better. Oh shit. And this music. No, n never cared much for nightclubs. Who the fuck is shooting me? This is how I imagine like uh, my experience in a in a nightclub would would go. Oh hey, that's a. Uh, some new monster or something. JG. It's a JG. Who the fuck is JG? Is this the guy who made the wad? Who made this? I, I, I don't know. Yes. This wad is made by Scaliano and his real name is John Gorley. Uh, not really a real war. I was kind of thinking about making maybe a map for, you know, that game, Intrude. And I started working on it, but got bored in like five minutes <laughs> after starting. But no, I'm not really working on anything. Man, that guy just fucking kills me. Oh god. Now oh, that's a Duke 3D monster. Uh, okay. So it is possible to kill the fucker. I should maybe just run away from him when he spawns. Just shoot him from a safe distance. I'm not sure there is a safe distance for a handmaker though. Someone else still alive. Where? Where? There is a guy. Hmm. OBS is slightly freaking out. Hopefully, hopefully the stream is not lagging. I haven't tried streaming Doom in 60 FPS. Yeah, it's a very simple game, but still you can do some interesting level layouts, I think. Earl War, is the stream laggy for you? Because OBS is saying like, oh god, there is like too much, too much strain on the CPU. Why don't you lower the stream quality? Where's that fucker? Out, oh, he spawns, he spawns. I can't even fucking see him. And I just need to survive for a little while. And then I'd be able to fuck him up. In general. What do you mean in general? There are like occasional freezes or what? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, that's a new Doom face, Doom guy face they made for when you are killed by the Unmaker. Hmm. I wonder if I can just change shit. Well, probably I cannot change FPS rate.
I should have saved after killing all the guys. Actually, this dude, like, completely, like, mutilated Doom Guy face, I don't really like it too much. If you want a creepy Doom Guy death face, there is a ward called Eternal. I think, I'm not sure, but I think there's like series of wards called Eternal. And they also feature like a custom Doom Guy face, and I think that one is creepy as fuck when you're dead. It's just like outright unsettling. And I kinda hate it, I can't see shit in all this darkness, but there is like one fucker somewhere just waiting. I want to kill him and run away to safety. Oh, there he is. Run, 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 run. Damn, how do I even deal with this fucker? The Unmaker is just OP. When enemies have it. Not so much when you have it. Save? Yes. Maybe I should just like spam him. Does he have a pain chance? He does have a pain chance. Oh my god. Did they really just make a boss for a stupid secret level? Oh, it's a bomb. It's a bomb! A bomb! Where is he? I would really expect this guy to be dead by now. Yeah, now what? <laughs> now I don't have ammo. <laughs> What's so funny, you asshole? What's so funny about not having ammo? You don't have to worry about ammo because you're a fucking monster. Oh, there you go. You know what I'm gonna save in a separate slot here. Ah, there we go. Nice. So now what do I do? Okay. Is this a button? Maybe not. Okay. Vinyl resting place. And it goes to recycling plant. <laughs> you step into the teleporter and find yourself back in the Triton complex. 
Somehow it comes as a strange relief to you. Fighting the denizens of hell is easily preferable to having listened to that infernal racket. Yeah, I guess that's how you can describe this music. Gathering what is left of your sanity and your ears, you head towards the waste processing facility. And it's back to, like, normal gameplay. And yeah, I kinda sorta remember this map, perhaps. Or maybe not. Well, anyway, that's it for Threshold of Pain. I've been just streaming for half an hour and I have nothing better to do. Anymore. Well, shit. I guess I could start playing through that, uh, what's it called? Uh, fuck, I forgot what it was called. Uh, it was called Innocence X, yes. Well, I guess if I started playing Doom, it would be stupid to... Uh, to just start streaming something else right away. Uh, yeah, let's see. If the game is freezing, it's not really worth it having it in 60 FPS. So let me just try to check if I can lower the FPS right away. Naturally, I cannot. Can I lower the bitrate right away? Like, I'm sorry for this, like, technical pause here. Uh, what was that? 4000. No, I cannot lower bitrate. Or can I? Yeah, I can lower bitrate, but not FPS. Well, oh, that's reasonable. So I'm gonna stop start the stream now. Probably YouTube will separate this in, like, separate videos, but... That's not really a bad thing, is it? I mean, different Doom mods and different videos. So we'll be back shortly, hopefully in just a moment. Okay. I wonder if it's the same stream still. I guess it is. I'm not sure how YouTube will react to bitrate and FPS rate changes. So I don't really know what it's gonna be on the recording. Maybe recording will just fuck up completely, I don't know. But anyway, we're playing Innocence X now. Uh... Okay. new game. Well, I assume this is ultraviolence. Of course we're playing on ultraviolence. This does kind of look like Doom 64. Well, I'm not sure what the problem is. I don't believe it's on my end, because now... OBS doesn't even complain. Like, it complained before, like, there is, like, too much, like, CPU load. But now it doesn't complain anymore. And uh, when I look on the OBS window on my second monitor, it seems to be working fine and without any freezes. So, I don't know, maybe it's, like, YouTube connection or something. Okay, I, I just played that completely crazy disco level and now I'm like not really in the right state of mind here to appreciate Doom 64 feel. <laughs> Actually, you know what, um, there is a separate ward here, something something that has to do with weapons. 
like a different weapon set for this map and I'm not sure if I was supposed to use it or not. So far I just only enabled the main wad for innocent sex. And I haven't enabled the weapons wad. I'm not really sure that's the way it's supposed to be played. But whatever, since that's how I started it, I guess that's how it's gonna be. Yeah, I can't jump and crouch, so I, I guess jumping and crouching isn't allowed. Because I haven't changed any settings. Is at doom. So, no, this kind of reminds me about first map of Doom 64 a little bit. Maybe I'm misremembering it, but I think layout is a bit similar. Damn, it's fucking dark. I can't see shit here on my monitor. Why did they have to use this music? I mean, yes, this is very like Doom 64 music, but holy shit, this is definitely not my favorite track from Doom 64. Uh, oh well, let's see what this does. Oh, it just calls the elevator back. Did I need to go here at all? Well, there's that switch there I could go for. Uh, let's do it. Oh, well, hopefully that does something. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I assume this is the wall you were talking about earlier. War. Yeah, apparently I can with that switch. Or were you talking about some other wall? Because all walls, they just look the same here in all this darkness. Like, this is slightly differently colored here. This wall, yeah, probably that's what you meant. This is differently colored. Yeah. I don't know, I'm pressing use and nothing is happening, so... I don't know, maybe there is some secret he here, something hidden. I don't know. Well, there is something on the map there, but I believe that was just a, like a monster corridor to make monsters teleport. Or maybe not, I don't know. Oh! Oh! Okay. I guess it wasn't. Hmm. I have to use this suit somehow. I I think that maybe there is like something here, like a switch to open that part of the wall, but it doesn't seem like there is anything. What about this waterfall? Can't interact with it. It's not like waterfall, it's slime fall or whatever, but you know what I mean. Uh, also, I need to move my window a little bit. Yeah, this level definitely feels like a remake of map 1 from from 64. <laughs> oh yeah, double chainsaw. Yeah, like in Doom 64, sure. Shit. It doesn't feel like it does 
double damage though, but that's understandable of course. Okay. Jealousy of Silence. Damn. What a name for a level. Endless Control. Okay. Should I aggro those guys? Probably shouldn't. <laughs> Oh, why? Why do they need to have these shitty monsters in here, too? I was hoping I wouldn't have to see them anymore. Okay, I guess I'll have to shoot chain gunners from here. That wasn't as dangerous as I thought. Okay. Well, health, I want that. I should use chainsaw more. Kinda feels like I'm gonna run low on ammo. <laughs> I'm not convinced they would need the logs and furnaces on Mars, but who knows. They sent a fucking Tesla car to space, so maybe they need chainsaws in space as well, and furnaces, and logs. This doesn't open right now. This doesn't open. This needs a red key. That opens and this opens. Let's go this way first. Oh, this is probably just the other elevator, back to the same room. Well, it was a mistake in Doom 3. It was very clearly stated in Doom 3 that it was a mistake to bring chainsaws on Mars. But this is not Doom 3. This is Innocence X. There was something blue there. Oh, I guess I just saw that <laughs> soul sphere. Well, that's a bit awkward. Well, whatever. That's my steam. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, that would have been amusing, I guess. But you know, it really has to become like a meme or something, so people are gonna know what this is all about, because may maybe people will stop talking about this car in like a week. And then it would make no sense to make this an easter egg. Oh, and this is like this drilling thing, yeah, like in Doom 64. So this is pretty much a, a remake of Doom 64, it seems. And I kinda... I'm not sure how I feel about that. Oh shit. 
Just realized I'm almost out of health. Like the threshold of pain. Oh, actually, you know what? I think the stream name still says threshold of pain. I should remove that. Uh, did you save? Yes, they did save. Also, there is another thing I should do probably here. Just pay no attention. Just going to leave a like to this video here. Uh, okay. Let's go. So yeah, as I was saying, Threshold of Pain was its own thing. It, it kind of failed at being Doom 64. <laughs> Voyager mission. I'm not sure what it is. Is that the thing where they sent a... Uh, just like some some probe outside of uh, solar system with uh, some directions how to find earth and like images of humans and such is that the thing or am i thinking about something else well i have i have doubts that any like sentient life form will ever see that <laughs> but well it's a nice try I guess I should have shot a, a shotgun guy instead. <laughs> okay, let's try to... Yeah, I just... I was gonna say, let's try not to lose like 10 million health, but... Well, I do not really think about it this way. I really have... Uh, no clue about electronics. And if it's cool that uh, it's like very re reliable and stuff, and like uh, what, what kind of equipment they have on board that probe, I don't know any anything about that, so I can't really say. So I can only give my opinion about it, you know, for, for what it is like. Uh, the point of doing that. And the point is kind of questionable, because it's very unlikely that anyone will ever see that probe, so... <laughs> That's like, tax money is sort of wasted, you know. Unless they are getting some like scientific data from it, but I kind of doubt that they do. I'm not sure why I just got stuck there. I'm stupid. Also, like, if aliens do find this probe, like some hypothetical aliens, do we really want them to find us, you know? What if they are, like, shit aliens? Like, evil aliens, like, from... <laughs> from action movies and such. 
Do we really want to reveal our location? Well, if it did make photos of planets, then I guess I can't really complain about anything. What the fuck is shooting me? Is there anything here? Uh... Whatever, anyway, blue key, we've got blue key, uh, yeah, the blue door is that way. Oh, does this have something to do with, like, planet alignment? I would expect so. Well, in that case, I guess we were lucky that we are able to launch space vessels. Well, I guess vessels is a vessel is a wrong word for this. I've just been watching too much Star Trek <laughs> recently. Uh, space, uh, I don't know, vehicles. Because if we wouldn't be able to do that, we'd have to wait for another 175 years, and that would suck. Who knows, we may not exist even in 175 years. I think I have slightly more health now, so... This is good, I guess. Oh shit, hello there. Now to think about it, I should have probably remembered this guy. I should have remembered these guys. God damn it. I want that health so bad. Oh no, no, no. That's better. I should be saving, really. Well, even without electricity, it's still... That's a secret. Oh, well. It's probably still gonna just fly somewhere, right? Like, just by inertia itself. Yeah, <laughs> you know, sending spacecrafts in 1977 on like shitty computers and my computer can't even have enough tabs in Chrome open simultaneously. <laughs> and like... Uh, Having spacecrafts function on one charge for, what, 50 years? And my phone can hold its fucking charge <laughs> for, like, a couple days. <laughs> well, actually, my phone can hold charge forever, because I have a simple phone. But I know people are complaining about their smartphones a lot. Oh, hey, would you look at that? God damn it, we just have to ruin everything if fucking him. I heard something open, was this open? Perhaps.
Yeah, that's pretty impressive, I guess. I can only hope that this brown shit doesn't damage me. It doesn't. Damn, this is like Doom 3 moment. You press a switch and everything is red. <laughs> and there are monsters. I wasn't paying attention to my OBS. Oh yeah, it does say that I lost some frames. Yeah, I did lose some frames at some point. I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, uh, I'll just continue playing then, I guess. Hmm... Oh yeah, I have the yellow key now. I didn't even notice getting a yellow key. What the hell? Holy shit. Well, this is interesting. I think this is also like taken from Doom 64. Wasn't there a similar place? Somewhere. Probably there was. Well, anyway, we can exit now, so that's good. Well, I kind of mind, because I kind of want everything to work nicely. Holy shit, I can see crap here. And like, right now I'm just streaming for shits and giggles, basically. But uh, let's say if I was streaming something, I don't know, interesting or important or whatever, that would have been very unfortunate to have any kinds of problems. Oh, I do have plasma gun. Shit, I did have plasma gun. Oh, you just keep going on and on about abuse. I will get to it at some point. I don't know when, but eventually it will happen. Actually, let's let's see when this is going to happen. I'm streaming Legend of Zelda, right? And Doom. When I finish Legend of Zelda, I'm not sure if I'm going to play any more Zelda games. Because, like, right at this point, I don't really feel like playing more Zeldas. But Android can talk me into playing more Zeldas, because Android can talk me into anything. I should just stop listening to him at some point. But I probably won't. Because you can't argue with Android. Annoying? Well, I'm not sure why you say it's annoying. It's a perfectly fine game. It's just not quite... Mm, doesn't quite... 
match my tastes, so to speak. I'm just too lazy to play it, I guess. <laughs> because it does like require paying attention and thinking and that kind of stuff. Ah, annoying enemies. Well, some of them are kind of annoying, but... That's what they're supposed to be, <laughs> kinda. Like, if they were easy to deal with, then... There wouldn't be much of enemies, then... And don't you just love huge open spaces with hitscan enemies? Well, you know, as Android said, I'm probably just making it look harder than it actually is because I'm bad at games. Controls are not laggy. The thing about the controls is that, uh, like, you can't really do anything while the animation is playing. Like, you hit your sword, uh, and the animation of the attack is playing, and you can't really do anything. So sometimes I would attack in one direction, then, like, press immediately other direction, and press attack again, and Link would just he just wouldn't turn because I was pressing the direction key during his animations and it didn't count and I just keep attacking in the same direction and that fucks me up basically but that's kind of my fault sort of oh shit they don't really give you much health in this spot do they I have no clue what that did. Hopefully something good. Oh. Cool. I guess. Is that button still pressed? Yeah, that's not a... timed button. Not sure what it did, but, well... Hopefully... Something good. Really cool to have two health and 200 armor. So I'm gonna be like really well armored when I die. There is shit down there. I know there is shit down there. I want that. But I guess I'm not getting it right now. There is some health over there. Let's see, do I die if I jump here? No, I don't. That's nice. Yeah, that's not much, but it's something. A skeleton in Doom 3, like which skeleton are you talking about? The stupid jump scare skeleton or or what? Of course I need a red key. And there's hit scanners. I don't see it. Yes! God fucking damn it. Of course, chain gunners. They just had to put chain gunners there. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I remember that guy. <laughs> yeah.
I wonder if they can come up here. Yes, they can. And you know, it's really cheap that those fucking chain gunners can shoot me here. Like, how, how are they hitting me? How are they fucking hitting me? They, this shouldn't be possible physically. God damn it. Well, I'm in shit situation here. Uh, yes. I should just run. Like that. Chain gunners. You'd better be fucking dead. We really want to kill all these guys. Ah, motherfucker. That guy, I think I may have killed him, but I'm not sure. And this is just kind of terrible. Like, no health. Well, there is some health, but really not enough for my taste. And some shitty as hitscan enemies in a dark wall that you can't really see until they start shooting you. Yeah, you know what, I'm not gonna even bother with these guys. Just fuck these guys. <laughs> I got a, a little bit too scared here. Oh shit, how do I get out of here? Oh, there we go. Now I have to go through that room again. Oh, fuck. Ah, it was not as bad <laughs> as it looked. Okay, save. Не логи, что-то не охота. Если бы больше народу поехал, я бы, может, тоже поехал. Тем больше это Lime Rock. Я просто ограничился рисованием скина для Сани. Если это можно назвать рисованием скина. А, Чеокш. It's kinda cool. Спасибо, Логи. Kinda cool. But I think, like, the first one is... Is interesting, just... For what it is. And uh, there is also that uh, thing with Geogs, you know, it being like a, a memory for, for some guy that passed away. So that makes it stand out. But all the rest of like Cheogs wads, I think there were like a couple more, right? Definitely there was a second Cheogs. I don't really remember. But I think there was. Uh, I believe, uh, like, Cheok Zhuan was made by Sh Shadow Man, right? But I think there is, like, some part of it that was made by uh, Kalabok, I think? And uh, Kalabok, like, is not with the Doom community anymore. 
or with any community for that matter. But I'm, I'm really not sure, this was long ago and I just don't re really remember the story with Cheokch. If you, if you ask me about Shadowman's work, I appreciate Hellfire and you know he's just like city type maps because he's very good at them. But Cheok, well first one is cool but second one I remember second one had like absolutely fucking ridiculous like switch hunting or something like that. And it was absolute outrageous and terrible. Maybe it's not as bad as I remember. God damn it. Really sucks having to play through this with six health. Well, it's my fault, of course, for having six health. But it's the author's fault for making a difficult map! But then again, it's my fault for picking ultra violence. But then again, it's author's fault for making a difficult map. No, it really is darker than it needs to be. Can't fucking see shit. And I don't believe this darkness adds anything good <laughs> to this map here. Oh, fuck. I should probably play Hellfire again, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, let's make darkly colored, half-transparent fucking imps in a completely dark room. Well, it's not completely dark, but it's very dark. I never had any motivation to do anything, <laughs> so I know how that feels. Okay, let's be prepared for the revenants. I was not prepared. That also reminds me, the damn android, he said we would stream like old levels and shit, but we never did. Anyway, what does this button do? Oh, turn on the lights. Yeah, now, now that's fucking helpful. God damn it! <laughs> uh, if only I knew. Oh well. Well, it's like... Oh my god. It's like uh, nothing I started, I ever finished. Now I have one health. That's gonna be even more fun to play now. No, how do I get there? How do I get there? Uh, well, for serious Sam, I made, uh, like, three deathmatch maps. 
and they were all terrible. Single player stuff I started making and never never actually finished or anything. Like I had some some beginnings but never actually finished any single player series map. And those deathmatch maps they were like really like shitty low effort ones. So it's n not an accomplishment at all. Am I out of ammo completely? No, I have... I have rockets and that's about it. Holy shit. This is not good at all. For Doom, uh... The only thing I made for Doom was like uh, that wad that Android mentioned, and that that we wanted to stream. But that wad is also like uh, just like one unfinished level, and it's also like no nothing special. Damn! Thank you, Mr. Baron. That helped a lot, actually. For me, it's just like I am like really hyped up for ideas. Like I, I like I, I think about doing something. I'm like like hell yeah, let's do this shit. But uh, as soon as I start uh, running into like some small problems and crap, I'm just like meh. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Seems difficult. <laughs> and that that's how everything goes in my life, basically. Damn, I got really lucky the first time and then I had to go and ruin it by falling into acid. There we go. You know what, I have rockets, I should use them. I actually do not remember this level. Uh-huh. Okay. Doom to doom doom. No health anywhere. Well, I could get this, probably. Let's do it. Or not. You know what? I'm just gonna save, like, screw this. I'm not gonna run around every time. I'm just gonna save scum. Oh, I heard that. Oh, I heard that. Holy shit. Was there a yellow door somewhere? Wait a second, what's that? Oh, it's this corridor. There is probably something there, but I'm gonna die if I try to go for it, so whatever. Well, <laughs> no, I wouldn't say it is easier. So anyway, yellow door. There is a yellow door over there. How do I get to it? What? Oh, I probably shouldn't have <laughs> stood in that place. Guy still alive there? Maybe not. 
maybe not. Yeah, let's just not stand around this time. Yellow door is over there actually. Okay, health finally. It's in the warfare. The romantic nightmares. The romantic nightmares, like what the fuck is that supposed to be? Oh, it's this level. It's this level. Was this a secret level or something? I don't remember. But I do remember it. Kinda... everything is just out of order. Oh no. Not you. Wait, I do have rockets, right? Yeah. Nice dodge there, Hipcat. Perfectly executed. looks weird with the fog, but maybe that's just the problem of software mode. Because I am still playing in software because, I don't know. I just have this weird fascination with software rendering. Complete the sequence. Left. One, three, four, two, one, three, four, two, okay, that was easy. <laughs> I'm so smart, holy shit, solving puzzles first try. Uh... Anyway, does this, yeah, this does lower. And that accomplishes just about nothing. I wonder what that did. Maybe activated this teleport, for all I know, because I never tried going in there. You know, I just don't really... Oh shit. I don't really appreciate this one so far. Because what I wanted... 
I wanted wads that were like Doom 64 in like feel and atmosphere and maybe design. But uh, the first ward kind of failed to do that. And uh, this ward is just a remake, kind of. <laughs> so I didn't really get what I wanted from Doom 64 ward. Um, well, I do not think that anyone ever said that God is in space. So there is no surprise about that. Oh, I can stand here without damage, I mean. Not sure why I shot that last rocket there, but whatever. Oh. Hello. That's my steam again. Don't pay attention, please. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm not sure I understand you, Erlwar. Kaku demon. Anyway, uh, let's see. You're not seeing my steam, right? Oh god. So what was I doing? Right, I should check my Discord as well since I met it. Uh, nothing in Discord. Ah, oh, there's Skype. Logi was asking about Mazda again. Well, I bet he was asking this before I was streaming. Oh, well, obviously. Like, we, we made up God, so it is, like, in our mind, naturally. Where else would it be? Uh... Well, sure, because... To, to invent God, you need to, like, uh, uh, what, what's the English for this, like, self-awareness, like, consciousness, like, something, sentience, yeah, that, that's probably the word I was searching for, sentience, you need to have sentience to come up with something like this. Animals don't have that, so they don't burden themselves with concepts like this, because all they know is just survival and uh, procreation. And they don't really need anything else.
Can you please die? Thank you. Oh boy, oh boy, oh! That wasn't too bad. Which one do I take? Let's take this one. This was closed before, right? Yeah, that's the troll key that gets stolen. Oh, shit. Right, dart traps! This is Doom 64, so we have dart traps. Well, it just so happens that nothing apart from humans can actually, like, think and such. So only humans express belief in God. Because nothing else that is alive can believe in anything. <laughs> because their, their, like, brains are not really capable of thinking required for believing into something like that. But, you know, if, like, some aliens show up and they will also, like, say, like, yeah, we also, like, believe in a supernatural being that created the universe, that would still, like, prove nothing, really. That would just mean that uh, different, different people came up with a similar fairy tale. I remember there was some different troll with the key in this map. Oh god, I have to... Motherfucker. Why didn't I save after doing this? I'm not very smart, am I? But I solved the puzzle on the first try! That has to amount to something, right? Like, it's, you know, it's kind of selfish to call our minds great. Maybe they are not so great. Maybe they are shit. Maybe we have, like, the worst minds of all, like, sentient life in the universe. Like, how do you know? We just think that we are, like, the coolest guys ever because... This is flattering to humanity to think that we are, like, just the best. But this just might not be the case. And it's not like a malfunction, it's just a lazy way out of explaining things. I believe I have spoken of this when I was playing Strange Realm of Mine. Because people just don't know how to explain something, so they come up with supernatural beings that do that. And of course this is like supernatural and has supernatural properties, so you cannot prove it or disprove it. And it's like super magical, so there's like no way to detect it or anything. Well, I guess you could argue that like lack of logic is a malfunction, but... Mirror of Grief. 
I don't like dart traps just facing me right, right, right like this. Like mind is not really a machine. You can't really say like what is really the correct way for it to work. No, I just feel like some things may never be explained ever. Like how the universe came into the existence. Like there's Big Bang Theory and all that, but... No, you, you can't really say for sure. Well, actually I don't know enough about science to be talking about this, so... I should probably shut up right now before I say anything stupid. I probably already have said something stupid, but whatever. I am stupid, so it's okay for me to say stupid things. It's just like some things may never be like explained or like answered. Like how how can you find out if there is like afterlife? The only way to find out would be to die. But uh, you kind of <laughs> you can't really come back from this <laughs> and, and and tell a story about it. Like, some things you'll just never be able to, like, find out. Well, I guess Afterlife is a shitty example because this is, like, another one of those, like, uh, unprovable, undisprovable things. Well, I don't know, what what you just said, that kind of sounds like an argument for creationism, actually. <laughs> I know, you probably didn't mean it this way. Have you read Reanimator? Well, actually, I'm not sure if uh, this uh, story is called uh, Reanimator, but no, I know there is a movie based on the story called Reanimator. Like, based on uh, Lovecraft story. And it didn't go so well reanimating dead bodies for that guy. Well, I'm just joking around. But basically... Uh, Shit, I don't even remember what it was called uh, in Russian. I think it was like something literal, like Voskrishayshi Mirtvich or something like that. No, whatever. Well, anyway, let's say you... Hello, Hazmati. Let's say you do this, like you bring like person back to life. Well, actually, there is kind of like stuff like that, you know, what, what's it called, like clinical death or something. Like when people are like actually dead for 
some short period of time, but then they they are reanimated, and they sometimes do describe like all kinds of stuff that they were seeing. But then again, this isn't really proof of anything because this only tells us about what kind of visions your mind sees when it's like shutting down, basically. So it's it's not really like anything. Any experience you can describe, you can't really measure it or anything because that would be just like a dream or something. Just because we see dreams, that doesn't mean we dream of real places and that that actually like dream reality exists. Um, Hazmatia, this is another word. I've beaten the threshold of pain, uh, and this is Innocence X. And it seems to be, uh, like, more heavily influenced by Doom 64. Well, I mean, it's like, seems kind of like a remake of Doom 64, actually, is what I wanted to say. Well, basically, all the supernatural stuff, you just can't really prove it. Or, or like, find any evidence or, like, anything. So people will be always like, ah, you can't prove that it is not like this, and people will believe all kinds of stuff. Forever, probably. <laughs> you can't really help it, I don't think. Okay, I have the red key. This seems like the red door, yes. Well, I don't know, I mean, I think they are just full of shit, but then again, I can't really say for sure that they haven't, you know, but it's like, you know, that's a good approach, like if you don't have proof of, of something, like some hard evidence, then probably, like you're lying or something, like there's a good chance you're lying, like you know how people feel about aliens, Like, there are people who, like, believe that aliens uh, just, like, visit Earth every day and, like, kidnap people and cows and do experiments on them and shit. And then people there that, that, that are like, there's no aliens, like, pff, aliens, that's impossible. And I kind of think that aliens are very much possible. Because universe is fucking big, <laughs> like really big, and surely there must be some planet somewhere with similar condition to Earth, or maybe completely different conditions and life evolved in a completely different way, but it's certainly plausible that there is some planet somewhere in the universe that can support life, that has this life. Uh, but I do not really believe that we are getting any visits from aliens. I don't really believe that. And it is very possible that we will just never find any intelligent life in, in space just just because everything is just so fucking far away. Like, so we really got to travel faster than light somehow before we can really think about aliens and shit. Well, that's a rather simple viewpoint. Like, if you can't be sure of something, then don't really have any like strong opinions and statements about stuff. Okay, okay. Is the stream going? Is the stream going, guys? Because I just had some weird issue with my chat. It told me that there was no connection, but the stream seems to be going. And my internet seems to be working. So it should be fine.
What is this? Where am I? Should have jumped there probably. Oh wow. Mouse look does <laughs> doesn't work very well for this skybox. <laughs> Let's just not look too much up, I guess. Did I press this? No, I did not press this. Oh, okay, I see. I didn't save, did I? Yeah, I was just sitting there dying and didn't realize that maybe I could have escaped from there somehow. Damn, I'm stupid. Well, Hazmatia, I kind of think that g God doesn't really exist. That's what I believe. Sort of, like... Because God is such a thing that you cannot prove or disprove it. But there is like no, no evidence of God existing, you know? That's why I think that it's likely that it doesn't. But uh, then again, I do admit that I can't really like prove it in any way, but that's just because like God is like not, not provable. It's just uh, imagined this way that you can't really prove it. It's like omnipotent being that can do like whatever and existence like some other plane of reality somehow. And it can do whatever the, the, it wants. Like how can you prove it? How can you prove a Russell teapot? I mean disprove a Russell's teapot. Like you cannot. Uh, you see, Hazmati, we are intelligent species, like humanity. We are intelligent, and we live on a planet in space that can support life. So it is, it is not unreasonable to assume that there is another planet somewhere, just like ours, that can support life. We know for a fact that uh, life can exist. Because we are life, we know that we exist. Well, I guess you could argue that, like, get all philosophical and shit, like, how do you know you actually exist? But I don't really want to go this way right now. But supernatural, we don't really have any example of supernatural. There isn't any proof of supernatural things. So, like, everything supernatural related, it's just kind of imagined by people. There is no... Any anything, no evidence to support uh, that there is something supernatural. So it's kind of a stretch to say that it exists. But yeah, I guess I cannot say that it doesn't. But uh, that that's like the matter of belief and opinion. That's why it's called faith. Because people just believe in stuff. You know. And I choose to believe that the world is rational and stuff like that just doesn't really exist. Kind of. Now, where's the blue door? Have I seen a blue door? That thing on the map looks like something blue, so maybe I should check it out. If only I remembered how to get there. Well, no, that's not how I would define supernatural or lore. That's not really supernatural. Uh, how, how do I put it? Like, I don't really know enough about science. But probably there are some scientific problems we haven't quite figured out yet. But this is a problem, like... Uh, you can like measure it, you can do some experiments and stuff, you know. But supernatural is something you can't really measure and can't do experiments on. 
Well, I guess you could argue that maybe in the future we would like have more opportunities to like have better tools and like better equipment and just be able to do more things with science. But I don't know at this point. At this point we cannot. Uh, now, what was I even doing? I was trying to get to... ...to the blue door. And from the looks of it, I may have been there somehow, because the map is explored. Where does this bring me? This brings me up here. I pressed the switch, something happened, I killed some monsters. Well, are you thinking about, like, thought experiments, or what, what do you mean experiment in theory? Experiment, when you have something, something like physical you can interact with, and you just poke it with a stick, and you see what happens. That's an experiment. <laughs> Like, how can you make an exper experiment in theory? You suggest some theory and uh, then you perform an experiment to confirm or deny that theory, basically. Okay, blue door, is it here? Yeah, finally I'm here where I'm supposed to be. Oh, so basically you mean like what I said earlier, that with like better technology we may be able to to maybe uh, like research more aspects of existence, is that what you're saying? Well, perhaps. But so far there is just like no no evidence. Like, for example, like, what, what's it called? Like, dark matter, right? Once again, I'm starting to talk about shit that I don't really understand, so I apologize for that. But, like, dark matter in space. Like, we don't really know what it is, right? But we know that it is there, and that we uh, can, like, somehow, like, look into it. Try to figure out what was that all about. Once again, I, I'm like uh, stressing that I don't really know what I'm talking about here, so I may be full of shit. And I kind of forgot what kind of point I was making. Like basically supernatural stuff as uh, it is uh, like defined nowadays. Like, w w there is nothing there, it's just like some tales, basically. You can research tales. Well, I guess you can if you're researching folklore, but that's a different thing entirely. Hmm. I don't really want to fight that fucking mastermind. It's not spider mastermind, it's fucker mastermind. Fortunately, we have these very convenient columns everywhere. Oh, that's nice. Well, this entire discussion has been like one huge derail. And, and that's perfectly fine. I mean, we're just chatting here. We are not on some conference or anything. Exit, that sounds nice. I'll take exit. Mirror of Grief finished. 
Ah, wait, Errol War. Aren't like Higgs, uh, Higgs bosons. Ah, no, they are like mass related. But mass is related to gravity. Huh. So I don't know. Basically, once again, I, I say once again, I don't know what I'm talking about here. I haven't really paid attention to this hazmat. Let's see. Not really. I I am not seeing any recoil. The screen is not shaking. Yeah, Earl War, you, you're kind of losing me here. Like, I, I know, like, they found out about, like, Higgs boson, and this was a big deal, but I don't really know anything more about that. SSG, let's see. Well. Oh, yeah, actually. Yeah, it does push me back. That wasn't really the case. Oh yeah, there's definitely like some screen shaking going on. Well, I'm not sure why they bothered. It's such a tiny effect, like barely noticeable. I guess it's cool they made it. But like, <laughs> what's, what's the point? Oh shit. What an asshole. I just picked up that medkit. Well, that sucks. Это не мой никнейм, но привет. Oh god. It, it was a mistake to take BFG. Oh my god. What have I gotten myself into? I should probably save at some point. Come out. Well, it's not new. People have called me this before. I don't know why. Is it really? Моя память меня подводит, значит, потому что я не помню, что он так часто делал. I should get rid of that revenant. I should get rid of that everyone, actually. Does this hurt me? It doesn't. Okay. Let's take advantage of that. Well...
Well, I do kind of recognize the nickname of this gentleman, Leherus. And I do remember that, yeah, he, he did visit our streams, the Android. Kinda remember, sorta remember. But I definitely haven't seen him in a while. Well, everyone is a friend here. <laughs> if you come to my streams, you are my friend by, by, by default, so... Oh, hey! It's the Unmaker. Subscribers. No, I don't believe so. There were some people we met, um, but those were people from Sirius Sam community back in the day. And they wouldn't really count as, like, Android subscribers anyway, probably. I just don't, don't like to meet people IRL, <laughs> basically. I am not a sociable person. And uh, I'm having trouble just like interacting with people online. It may not seem so <laughs> on my streams, but it is true. Meeting someone IRL, it's like, holy shit, it's a challenge. It is like a battle you need to prepare for mentally. And certainly, I am not comfortable with meeting people that I don't know really well. Man, why does it have to be so dark here? Yeah, you guys just killed each other. I'm just gonna sit here and chill out. Hello, Louis. Yeah, whatever, let's just get out of here. Wait, what? Okay. Is that a 3D bridge I'm seeing? Why is there a 3D bridge here? Oh wait, it is GZ Doom, right? This is GZ Doom. So there is no reason why it shouldn't have 3D bridge. I just forgot that this is GZ Doom with software renderer. And that it can actually have three-dimensional architecture. Oh shit. That was a bit unexpected. Well, I guess it's a good thing I ran out of cells then, <laughs> as much. Oh yeah, chainsaw, right, I should use chainsaw. That's better. Health, health, there we go. Yeah, uh, there was some trickery you could do, yeah, that's definitely true. But, uh, oh god, 
But pretty sure it wouldn't look like this. Like it would be flat. But then again, maybe not. This does look like a mid texture, doesn't it? Well, actually, I, I, I am not sure if this if this is like proper bridge. Or like a cheaty bridge that you do in like classic Doom. Oh, that's a good question, but probably like never. <laughs> I don't know. This is more of a question to Android. Because he is the force behind random hiking movies. And basically, I recall him saying that there is just not really much to, to see, not many places to go, because we've seen all like interesting places around where he lives, and there just isn't much interesting around where I live. And I wouldn't even know if there was, because I don't go out. <laughs> I just sit at home all the time and I never bother to explore my surroundings. I think that was the idea, like, he didn't have any good uh, reasons and, like, ideas for videos, so that's why. Tarzanka area. <laughs> what about it? I thought we, like, didn't we, like, show it on video? Just that Tarzanka was gone, and I don't believe that it will be there again ever. <laughs> I don't think kids do Tarzankas anymore, like, the same way we did. Actually, you know... Oh, god damn it. Like, now that I think about it, like, Tarzankas are kind of a mystery. Answer, answer. Ah, software renderer game. Ah, uh, you mean... Uh... Autumn Night 3D Shooter? Th that's an interesting... well... No, it's not an interesting game, it's a shit game, actually. It's a very bad game. But it looks gorgeous. So I had to sit through it and play it through the end. But it's not a good game, it's like very, very flawed. And it's very short as, as well. Oh, I just kind of did it without thinking. <laughs> but, well, I guess it worked, so... It's fine. I tried streaming it, Errol War, and it wasn't working out. Actually, Hazmati was there. I tried streaming it, and it... Uh, it, it was just laggy. My PC couldn't handle a fucking software render game. So I had to stop, like, the, the legs were really noticeable, like, really bad legs. I came through here, right? Actually, I'm not sure about this. I guess I didn't. Or maybe I did. Fuck, I don't even know anymore. Hmm... I just don't see how this would work. Oh, hey, I remember this room, kinda, from Doom 64. Like, how would it work? You know, sometimes... Bosses get, like, really crowded. With all kinds of terrible people. <laughs> and it would be problematic to try and record the video in an environment like this. Besides, like, would it really be interesting to just, like, watch shit out of the bus window? Talking about buses, actually. There's this bus game, like, Bus Driver Simulator 2018. And I, and I bought it because I'm stupid. And I don't know, maybe it would be amusing to stream it, because this is like a, R a Russian bus simulator in a Russian town. And I don't know, some people might find it interesting. 
But so far it doesn't really look like a simulator actually. Like very arcadey feel. And uh, like it doesn't really support my steering wheel like at all. So I can't really play it. Well I guess I could play with a keyboard but who the fuck would want to play a bus simulator with a keyboard? I should stop dying, probably. Stopping dying sounds like a good idea to me. Good idea, but poor execution so far. Very poor. Damn, I need to rewatch Barat. I saw it years ago. And I don't really remember much about it. I remember it was funny. Oh hey, nothing actually stops me from leaving this room. Like, <laughs> why didn't I do that before? Uh Why am I so bad at Doom? Can anyone tell me why am I bad at Doom? I've been playing it for fucking years, I am still bad at it. Some people are just shit at games, I guess. I, I don't even know what, what this is, what you just uh, like said. I don't know what kind of show is this. Never heard about it. I didn't even know that uh, Barat wasn't like uh, just one time character for the movie. I didn't know that. Oh hey, I'm not dead. That's a nice change. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like fuck you for picking up the key. You just had to fight some shitty as arachnotrons, but here, fuck you some more for taking the key. That's so nice of your game. To be honest, I probably should have remembered that. There, there was probably a similar trap in Doom 64. Try to imagine Borat game. That would be interesting. Okay, so I have the red key now. I can probably do something with it, maybe. Well, I guess when people get triggered, that's just mildly amusing in general. <laughs> Okay, red key, red key. I don't think I have ever been down 
up there. Yes. I should really stop dying. I'm not just paying attention at all. Just chatting with you guys and enjoying myself. <laughs> Forgetting that I have to play as well. Sorry about that. It's probably painful to watch. Do I have chain gun? I do have chain gun. No, oh, this is definitely like Jiza Doom trickery here. I don't think you could like pull off something like that. It's just regular Doom tricks. I love how you censored the word sex, Louis. Alright, of course I can't exit. I should probably get out of here. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> Well, I don't know, from my impression of Muslims, probably <laughs> not many of them know that. Am I being racist right now? Probably being racist right now. Do I care? Not, I don't really care. All kinds of shit is just going down. I have to jump in the middle of it. Well, I'm just speaking about Muslims and I don't really know that much about them. I guess it's like pretty racist to judge people when you don't really know anything about them. <laughs> what is Blackwater, Lewis? Is this some kind of private military company? I kind of feel like just escaping from here. 
Maybe that doesn't really work. Shit. Well, I said that they probably, that probably most of them don't really have this sense of self irony that Leherus mentioned. I should probably kill these fuckers because just running doesn't seem to work. Okay, still not dead for some reason. Thank you for dying. Yeah, it's really kind of stupid. Like they they demand respect, but they they are not willing to to show it, you know. But then again, once again, I'm talking out of my ass here because I don't really know what I'm talking about, and I acknowledge that. But whatever. If I only talked about things that I know something about, then I would just keep silent all the time, because I don't know shit about anything, har har har. Okay, so how the fuck do I get out of here? Oh, hey chimps. So you want to fuck shit and burn people and kill demons, that's what you want, champion. How do I get out of here? I don't see any teleport. Ah, there is a teleport. There is a teleport. Where is the fucking exit? Well, death is an exit, like, if you think about it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, now, yellow door. Is there a yellow door anywhere? Are you a yellow door? No, you're just a door. That's good enough for me. Wait, I came through here. That's the start of the level. What the shit? That reminds me about some, like, humorous comic strip that I saw before. Like, v Vikings, just one Viking speaking to another. It says, like, what is, like, our motto? And th that guy answers, like, rape, pillage, and burn. And the first guy is like, yes, in this particular order, and then uh, the panel shows that guy like fucking a skeleton or something. Why do I keep dying to stupid shit? Uh, 
Oh shit. Unfortunately, like describing jokes and explaining them makes them less funny. But I can be asked to Google for the picture and link it to you. So a description will have to suffice for now. Uh, damn, I should stop dying. Like, really, why am I dying so much? Hippocat, stop dying. Okay. I'm just gonna save scum like a total noob because I am a total noob it appears did I press this? ah, okay dun, 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 dun. yeah it's not like 10 million monsters are gonna spawn or anything That's not 10 million yet, but soon it's gonna be. You know, Hazmati, Bible is full of shit as well. I recall trying to read Bible, like the Old Testament, and it really has some questionable shit. But it's just like people have like moved past it. Like uh, Christians, they they realize that they shouldn't like really kill people and you know beat their wives and that kind of crap like I, I, I don't really remember the kind of bad stuff from the bad, uh, from the Old Testament but there was something like weird like that along these lines uh, oh I have all the keys now I can open the door And that was a bad decision. This is better. Whenever you say Black Bible, the only thing I can think of is that particular cartoon. And just don't Google it. Just don't. Believe me, trust me, don't Google it.
In what order did you pick up? Are you fucking serious? As if I fucking remember. Fuck you, game. What order? God damn it. What order? I don't remember what order. Was it like yellow? Red? Blue? No. Red, blue, yellow. Yellow, blue, red. Fuck. Well, at least they don't punish you for being wrong, so... Oh, it opened? Okay. Yeah, I just fucking brute forced it. I, I, I ain't gonna remember shit. No way. Unlucky Morpheus. Oh god! Yeah, that's pretty unlucky. Just bringing back my OBS here that somehow got minimized for some reason. Oh my god, oh my god. I want that, thank you very much. Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect place to put some a ammo. Man, this is such a troll. Like, you really want the plasma gun to fight cyber demons. But if you want to pick it up, you're gonna get fucked. You know, I'm gonna save actually. Wait, what about the switches? You lack the ability to activate it. I lack the ability to activate the switch. I'm the fucking Doom guy. I can do whatever the fuck I want. You lack the ability. I have all the abilities. We require more minerals. Oh, I do have... Fuck! I forgot I had BFG. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just completely forgot that I had it. Well, it's not actually a simple button. It's some kind of weird-ass face button. That wasn't good. And I fucked it up. I'm so good at Doom, guys. Well, if you count each, at, uh, each reload as a separate Doom guy, then I am pretty good at Doom guys. If by pretty good at Doom guys you mean like getting killed as a Doom guy.
That was a poor choice. That was a bad decision. I don't know, this shouldn't even be difficult. I mean, there is cover and just two cyber demons. I don't know why I'm failing so much. That's better. What the fuck are you? What the fuck? What? What the fuck is this? Well, it kind of looks cool, not just a simple recolor. Looks weird and cool. So I approve. Ah, it's from Realm 667. In that case, I'm not that impressed. I'm probably gonna sneeze eventually, so just be ready for when this happens. Don't panic. Everything is under control. Wow, that didn't do anything. Now what? It's like shit. Shit attempt anyway. This, this is not difficult, this is not a difficult fight, why am I dying so much? Then again, why do I suck at everything, so... It's kind of a rhetorical question. I just do. Well, you know what they say, you need to have a bowler to know the way, and I don't have that. that up probably well I guess fine I'll waste some rockets on you guys that was a bad idea to go there I'm still alive so it's fine I don't feel like saving I, I lost a lot of health and I don't think this is a good idea to save. This guy will probably fuck me up. And those fucking fireballs. This guy doesn't look too bad actually, like if I just keep moving, it should be fine, except that I'm running out of rockets and that is concerning. Oh, he's dead. Almost killed me after he died, fucking asshole. Well, I think pretty much everyone is aware of Uganda Knuckles meme. 
You lack the ability to activate it. Like, what the shit is this? Probably I needed, like, to find some secrets or crap. Was this, like, the final boss of the water or something? Is this, like, Doom 64 where I needed to find the talismans and shit and that would, like, help? Oh. You have slain the mother of all evil, and with it, her plans for the domination. After enduring endless amounts of slaughter, you decide to remain in hell to ensure that no other demon will rise to give this. That voice acting. Well, this was kind of short, but I guess it's good because now, like both uh, threshold of pain and innocent sex were like on my to playlist, and now they are off this list, so I can do something else. Like postal dude wanted me to stream Jalopy and my summer car, and maybe I'll do that. We could play another map. Uh, which one is that? Can you remind me? Well, I'm not gonna stream it now. <laughs> I mean, Jalopy. Maybe, uh, like, some other day. Tomorrow is Friday, right? Yeah, tomorrow is Friday, so... Tomorrow is Zelda and Zelda on weekend as well. I've been kind of thinking about streaming like more like Strider speedrunning stuff, but you know at this point I'm not even making any runs because I did a like fairly solid run that like four minutes six seconds, and now I'm just messing around with glitches and trying to learn how to do shit. And uh, this is basically like jumping into walls repeatedly over and over again. So probably not really worth of streaming. Uh, I need chat. You know what, I'm just gonna exit Jesus Doom like for now. Where is my chat? There is my chat. Uh, I'm just gonna put a picture or something. Oop. Okay, Valhalla what? Single level. Created by Ed Cripps. It is for Z Doom. New level from scratch. It doesn't say how long it takes. Is this a long level, Hasmati? Because I'm thinking if I should play it now, or maybe... Some other time. Hmm, 45 minutes is kind of long. So I will... I will not play this. I think I'll just stop the stream. It's been two hours. And we beat both Threshold of Pain and Innocence, so... That's good enough. And I, I, I do not promise I'm gonna play this for sure, but... At least I'm done loading it right now, so... It will sit there in my Jiza Doom folder. And remind me of its own existence. Yeah, this was a great stream. Well, great for me. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was great for you, but I really enjoyed it. And thank you guys very much for coming to my stream and just chatting with me. I really appreciate it. It just made my evening, like, honestly. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very much. And see you tomorrow. 
Yes, Louis, exactly. This is exactly what I meant. So, um, see you tomorrow during Legend of Zelda stream. Well, if you're interested. If you're not interested, then I'm probably not going to see you. But that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Just do what you want, I guess. Who am I to tell you how to live your lives? Anyway, yeah, goodbye.